Today we're discussing HMRC phishing attacks and the US ban on ransomware payments. Welcome to the HUT6 InfoSec Roundup. Hello and welcome, my name is Alex James and this is the HUT6 InfoSec Roundup. First up this week, HMRC receives 500,000 malicious emails. Her Majesty's Revenue and Custom has, between June and September, received over 521,000 malicious emails, around 128,000 of which were classified as phishing. According to reports, around 72% of malicious emails received were spam and junk, 24.5% phishing and almost 3% contained malware. Amounting to over 5,600 malicious emails per day, HMRC is a favourite of online scammers. Commonly exploited by criminals, attackers regularly impersonate the organisation and target members of the public with promises of tax refunds, etc. Product director here at HUT6, Pratik Bathula, had this to say. Unfortunately, as with all social engineering, the most effective attacks are those which leverage emotional and current events such as an overdue tax return or the Covid pandemic. The only defence an unwitting individual has against these attacks is to ensure that they view every alarming message or communication with a cool head and treat the message as suspicious until they can prove otherwise. US Treasury Bans Ransomware Payments Published on the 1st of October, the US Treasury has issued an advisory warning companies that they could be fined for facilitating or paying ransoms to online cyber gangs. The advisory states, quote, Companies that facilitate ransomware payments to cyber actors on behalf of victims, including financial institutions, cyber insurance firms, and companies involved in digital forensics and incident response, not only encourage future ransomware payment demands, but also may risk violating OFAC regulations. The US Department of the Treasury Office of Foreign Assets Control also iterated that Americans are prohibited from engaging in transactions with entities on the offices, special designated nationals and blocked persons list, or embargoed regions such as Ukraine, Iran and North Korea. With many ransomware attacks thought to be emanating from state actors, in particular North Korea, entities may also be held liable, quote, even if they did not know or have reason to know they were engaging in transactions with a person that is prohibited under sections, laws and regulations administered by the OFAC. The warning comes as a further reminder that robust information security practices cannot be substituted with post hoc solutions, noting, quote, paying a ransom to cyber actors does not guarantee that the victim will regain access to its stolen data. That's all we have for today. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And as always, if you're interested in finding out more about information security awareness training, please head over to the HUT6 website for your free demo. 